We've reached the conclusion of the uh, Matt Spans Baptist Manifesto for uh, Outreach to Orthodox Christians. Uh, Matt Span makes the observation that one can attend an Orthodox Church for faithfully for their whole lifetime and never have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. One can attend the Baptist Church for a lifetime or even be a minister in the Baptist Church for a lifetime and never have any kind of relationship with Jesus Christ. One can attend a Protestant church for the sake of making business connections, which is very popular, and one can uh, attend the, the church because it's politically appropriate to do so, because of peer pressure, because of the local community, or all kinds of reasons. So the fact is, one can belong to any religion without having any kind of actual relationship with the tenets of that religion but for any number of reasons. Consequently, uh, to make some specific accusation about the Orthodox Church in that regard is rather foolish. Uh, the other thing is that when a person talks about a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, as we see it in the context of Protestantism, it means that each individual falls into a kind of egotism and self-centeredness about their particular relationship with Jesus Christ and begins to come to the conclusion that each individual can interpret scripture as they see fit. In that case, of course, the scripture cannot be considered to be the word of God. The scripture is the word of the man whose works interpret that scripture as he sees fits. Because interpreting the scripture as you see fit is simply a following of the imagination. Anyone can justify any, anything they wish to justify from the words of divine scripture. You can obviously justify exterminating whole nations. You can justify invading other countries and taking over their land. You can justify theft, at least if you're a Jew fleeing from Egypt in the middle of the night led by Moses. Because after all, were the Jews not told to borrow jewelry from the Hebrews and then steal it and carry it out of the country? So genocide is justifiable from scripture. Robbing a whole nation, stealing things and sneaking away in the middle of the night is justifiable from scripture. You can justify practically anything you want by interpreting scripture as you see fit or by interpreting scripture for yourself. The Jehovah's Witnesses have very good arguments for their religion on the basis of scripture. And no one can deny that their arguments are good and solid, that Jesus Christ is not divine, that he's not God. So we argue from the same scripture, but of course we also hark back to the sacred tradition. You can interpret divine scripture any way you want to and come up with any religion you want to never know who Jesus Christ is or understand Jesus Christ when you have a completely personal relationship with Jesus Christ without the sense of the community and the commonweal then you have no relationship with Jesus Christ because you cannot have a relationship with Christ independent of your relationship with other human beings nor can you have a relationship with the God of creation outside of the sense of community and the community that comes together to help you defeat egotism, self-centeredness, and self-love. Whereas the idea of Christ as my own personal savior very often exalts egotism, self-centeredness, and self-love. Moreover, the evangelical doctrine of uh, the prosperity doctrine which suggests that the poor are poor because they're out of favor with God and the rich are rich because they're in favor with God, means that you have no relationship with Jesus Christ at all because you've not understood a thing that he said. So I would say, say to the Southern Baptist Convention and to Matt Spann in general, don't try to sell vacuum cleaners to the neighbors until you've cleaned your own carpets because you have plenty to clean up. And uh, you should perhaps tend to yourselves. And that's my conclusion.